Hello, my name is Siggy and today we talk about ASEAN and democracy. The ASEAN region has an interesting history when it comes to democracy. Thailand, the only country that was not colonized, undertook its first steps towards democracy in 1932. Most other ASEAN countries became democracies after independence. However, many subsequently turned authoritarian or abolished democracy altogether. Ethnic tensions, impatience with the slow pace of development or socialist revolutions were the reasons. But democracy made a comeback, take the Philippines. It became a democracy in 1946, but it lasted only until 1972 when President Marcos declared martial law. His misrule ended in 1986 by a nonviolent revolution that triggered democracy revolutions in Asia and around the world. But democracy is still facing challenges. Democracy needs other institutions to work well, especially the rule of law, including a strong list of basic human rights. And these need to be upheld by a professional non-political police force, by a professional non-political bureaucracy as well as a professional and politically independent judiciary. Last but not least, a competitive market economy is needed to improve people's material well-being. A democracy that is not supported by these other two institutions will always face challenges and threats.